Hello, how to solve for m in this equation? m multiplied by m multiplied by m minus m multiplied by m is equal to 180. Solution. Here we have m multiplied by m multiplied by m minus m multiplied by m is equal to 180. Now m times m times m. This is m q minus m times m. This is m square is equal to 180. But 180 is equal to 216 minus 36. Then here we have m to the power of 3 minus m square is equal to, let's replace this 180 by this. We have 216 minus 36. And here we have m to the power of 3 minus m square. Here is minus 216 plus 36 is equal to 0. Then 216 is equal to 6 to the power of 3. And then 36 is equal to c square. So we have m to the power of 3 minus m square minus c to the power of 3 plus c square is equal to 0. Then here, let's pair this with this and this with this. We have m to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3. Here is minus m square. This is minus c square is equal to zero take note of this that from here if you have a to the power of three minus b to the power of three this is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square and from here If you have a square minus b square, this is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b, where a is equal to m and b is equal to 6. Now let's substitute. Here we have m minus 6 bracket, then m square plus 6 multiplied by m plus c square, then minus a is m plus 6 bracket m minus 6 is equal to 0. Now here, m minus 6 is common. We have m minus 6 bracket. If you divide this by this, we have m square plus this is 6m plus 6 square. That is 36 minus. If you divide this by this, we have m plus 6 is equal to 0. Then here is m minus 6 bracket m square plus 6m plus 36 minus m minus 6 is equal to 0. Then we have m minus 6 bracket m square plus 6m minus m, that is 5m plus 36 minus 6, this is 30, is equal to 0. There are two cases here. The first case is 
m minus 6 is equal to 0 and the second case is m square plus 5 m plus 30 is equal to 0 then from here m is equal to 6 this is the first value of m and from here this is a quadratic equation let us solve it using quadratic general formula from this second case our quadratic general formula is given as m is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and from this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 5 c is equal to 30 m is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 30 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 then m is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square is 25 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 30 that is 120 over 2 multiplied by 1 2 now m is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 120 that is minus 95 over 2 m is equal to minus 5 plus or minus this can be written as square root of 95 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 then m is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 95 i over 2 these are other values of m therefore our final answer are m1 is equal to 6 then m2 is equal to minus 5 plus square root of 95 i over 2 and m3 is equal to minus 5 minus square root of 95 i over 2 this is the final answer and we can see that from our final answer we have one real root and then two imaginary roots we can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong to check we are going to make use of this real root then to check we have the given equation m multiply by m multiply by m minus m multiply by m is equal to 180 and when m is equal to 6 we have 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6 minus 6 multiplied by 6 must be equal to 180 then 6 times 6 times 6 this is 216 minus 6 times 6 36 must be equal to 180 here 216 minus 36 this is 180 is equal to 180 which is true i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye